So I think I want to start off this video with briefly talking about what Linux is. You probably have an idea of what Linux is, but however, Linux is an open source operating system, and it's different than Windows and OS X because it is open source, meaning that anyone can essentially take the source code and make their own version of the operating system. And a version of the operating system is known as a distribution. Every version of Linux, every distribution has its own quirks, has pros, cons, etc. However, to try to simplify this video, just know, essentially, that Ubuntu is one of the more popular versions of Linux. It has a lot of developers backing it that work on the software, that work on compatibility. So you have a higher probability of getting Ubuntu to work on any hardware compared to a lot of other different versions of Linux. And that is also preferencing that you are not as tech inclined potentially, so you might not know much about Linux and don't want to finick around with it much, you just kind of want it to work. Ubuntu is probably the way to go in that. So with all that said, on Linux, on Ubuntu, you have a very viable web browser, office software, video and photo editor, and arguably an ability to get a decent gaming experience. And I'm not trying to say this is going to be your next gaming machine on Linux, but it's in the right direction. And also for the average consumer that might not be playing many games, it might be applicable for you. However, there is a bigger problem here because I think I'm proving that for the average consumer, Linux, Ubuntu on the software level is a very valid solution in terms of the user experience as long as you already have it installed. So that comes to the overall problem with Linux right now. If you want Linux, you can download it on, on, on off of a computer, but you have to install it on your own piece of hardware. I bought this Dell computer and it had Windows on it, which means I had to plug in a flash drive and install Linux on it. And it's not a problem for me. I can most certainly do that. But for the average consumer, it is A, an additional step that they don't want to take. B, people might not just know how to do it. So you have some inherent problems. Additionally, because there's so many computers out there in the world, you might have some support problems and driver problems. You never know. And the only support you're gonna have is reading through forums to try to figure out what to do. And that's problematic at best. However, but before we continue discussing this, I do wanna take this computer. I wanna give this to the editor, uh, Erica. And I wanna see if she can install Ubuntu on this with little to no guidance. She might be good with editing, but overall with computers, not so much. So let's try to give this to her and see what she says. Yo, Erica. Hi. I need you for a video. You need me for a video? Yeah. So grab your computer and we're going to Studio A. Okay? okay. Follow me. So it is the next day. Finally, people are in the office now. I do have our new editor, Erica, here. Hi. So you know how to edit. You know how to operate a computer. But besides that, where does your expertise in computers end? That's to be decided, I guess. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. As you have like fancy code on your <laughs> computer from what, you're editing CSS files? I don't know what you're Yeah, doing. this is my style sheet. Okay, so now you're trying to sh pr uh, show off to the audience that you might know something about computers, but we'll see if you can actually do this. So here's your task that we have for you today. Mm. Um, you're going to be taking this Dell laptop right here okay. and installing um, Ubuntu on it, which is a form of Linux, okay. which we discussed a tad bit off camera. Mm -hmm. So I asked you to bring out your computer here though, because yeah. you do need to download files and whatnot. Um, for Ubuntu. Okay. So if you go to Safari, Google Chrome, whatever, and look up, uh, type in Ubuntu, you can go to their website. So that's uh, U-B-U-N-T-U. Ubuntu desktop is what we're going to install. 18.04. 
LTS. Now you have to wait for it to download. Now, however, you it's downloading a .iso file, which you don't know what that is. Um, the only ISO I know is when we're actually filming. <laughs> yeah, no, I gotcha. So what you should do right now mm -hmm. is do some research, try to figure out how you're going to install an ISO file on a flash drive, which I conveniently lost for you. Uh, Good for you. I just had it. Where did the flash drive go? That sounds more of like a you problem. Actually, it's a you problem because uh, you're the one that needs it. Um, I'm not the one making the video. Well, actually, you are now. Okay, I'm editing it, but it wasn't my idea. No, 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 you're the star of the show. Just so you guys know, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. He's crazy. He's really crazy. Don't tell him that I told you guys that. Bro, the flash drive is right here. <laughs> So, in case you want to uh, get any help, um, you can feel free to use this guide. All we need to do right now is get to the point where your flash drive is ready to work. Alright? Well, Am I well, in the right spot? What? Well, I'm not looking at that. I don't know what you're doing there. I've never seen that. That's good to know. <laughs> I'm supposed to find the USB stick, which I did, and... I'm erasing it, apparently. And I'm setting the format to an MS DOS in parentheses fact. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it sounds really stupid, so anyway. Okay, so if my computer says that it erased it and that the process is complete, so I'm pressing done. So I'm downloading something called Etcher. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Try to like, wait for you to call me. You walked in. I said, Leave me alone. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bye. He better hope to God that my computer does not break. Well, then don't break the computer. <laughs> It's opening Etcher, which is good. All right, so now I have to go to my applications folder and drag it into there. For the sake of my computer, I'm gonna pray that I choose the right drive. It's, it's flashing, apparently. I got 23 seconds left. Now it's 20. Three, two, one. It's finishing, apparently. It lied to me, it was in one second. Now it's got 25 seconds. I guess that means it's done. <sighs> oh, so I think I did this wrong. Because it said the disk that I inserted was not readable by my computer. I went through this whole process to get nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I should have read the fine print, I'm so stupid. We're gonna try this again. <laughs> so, I'm trying this again because I apparently pressed the wrong button. Because my stupid mind was like, oh, let me press this instead. Ooh. You don't know how tempting it is to try to go into a Snapchat right now. Actually. Now that that's done, back to business. All right, it's still going. I should have stayed on Snapchat. <laughs> okay, now I'm pressing the right button. Okay, awesome. And I remove it, which I did. All right, cool. So it's been, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes, and how far have you gotten? I ejected it. <laughs> Is, is the Ubuntu ISO on it? Yes. Oh, it is? It is. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's, then let's see if it's actually going to work. Why you open up my snaps? No reason. So what you're gonna do now is you're going to install 
this operating system. Okay. So you get to use your the arrow keys, go down, and then click enter to install Ubuntu. So now you get to sit here, go through the process of installing Ubuntu, and uh, yeah, let me know when it's actually done. Hi. Hi. I'm gonna test out my keyboard. Yep, it works. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what apps would you like to install to start with? I'm just gonna say it's a normal installation and download updates while installing Ubuntu. All right, so it's asking me who I am and I'm just gonna pretend to be Eric. So, Eric Davids. <laughs> All right, welcome to Ubuntu. And did you do it right? That is the question. That is the big question we're gonna find out. Because <laughs> personally, I don't even know if I did it right. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting nothing right now. Blank screen. Don't, might, look, don't have... look at me all disappointed. Oh, Ubuntu. I think we have it. Yes. There we go. <laughs> you, you successfully installed Ubuntu. That is awesome. fantastic. All right. So, you have at this point installed Ubuntu on the computer. I'm not actually gonna make you like use it for a week or anything like that. You gotta get back to your work and editing. But how difficult was it to actually create the .iso file and put it on a flash drive? Um, if you follow the instructions and you read everything, it's very easy. Which was conveniently on Ubuntu's website. Yes. Okay. Um, how was it in, in terms of actually the installation of the computer uh, itself? It went well. Nothing no stopped. Problem. Nothing. All right. All right, that's all I needed you for. Let me end this video and uh, then you can edit it. All right, can I take my computer back? Yeah, you can take your computer okay. back. He didn't break my baby. All right, so at this point, um, Erica has gone to the back and she installed Ubuntu on this computer. It's all fully functioning. Has to do some more updates, but that's fine. I do have to install OpenCL and my NVIDIA GPU drivers on here, but that's no big deal. So let's look at what Erica had to go through to get this to work. Obviously, as I stated, she had to figure out how to install the .iso file on the flash drive. Took her about 45 minutes to about an hour, but she figured it out with help from like Ubuntu forums. However, the average consumer is not gonna spend that time doing that. So what's your other options? You can go to companies and buy a flash drive with Ubuntu already pre-installed. So you can just put it in your computer, install the operating system that you desire, great. However, that also highlights a bigger problem. You cannot buy any hardware, you know, this is a Dell laptop. You can't buy a Dell laptop these days with the operating system pre-installed. And that is what a lot of consumers want. They want to buy a computer, open it up, make their account and have a working computer. You can't unfortunately really do that in the Linux space. There are some companies, but no big companies, not like Dell, HP or anything like that. No one big in the game sells Ubuntu laptops or Linux laptops. Dell used to, they don't do that anymore. And because there's no hardware manufacturer that mass produces Linux laptops, you also have a problem with customer service and support or the lack thereof. If you install Linux on this computer, great. But if you have a problem, you're only up to going through forums and Google searching to try to fix your problem. And that means you really have to commit to using Linux. But as of today, as of right now, Linux, the operating system of like something like Ubuntu, it is ready for you know mass production, if you will, just about. It just needs a little more of an ecosystem and a company to fully support it and adopt it and push it out to the average consumer. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I do support the use of Linux. However, it has its own quirks. So I'm looking forward to know if you guys have fully dedicated yourself to Linux. Are you trying to? So on and so forth. Anyway, I'm Eric and I'll catch you in the next one.